Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, the podcast where we unwind, relax, and drift off to sleep. I'm Noah, your host for tonight, this evening. We're returning to a cherished spotic Ozy bakery that many of our listeners have grown to love. Tonight, we'll explore a new chapter from this warm and familiar place where Lily finds comfort and inspiration in an old family recipe, sharing her delicious creations with her dear regulars. So, as you settle into your bed, take a moment to get comfortable. Maybe stretch out your arms and legs one last time, allowing your body to relax fully. Adjust your pillow until it cradles your head and neck just right. Once you're settled, take a deep breath in, hold it for a moment, and then gently exhale, letting go of any tension you might still be holding on to. Let's take another deep breath in through the nose, hold, and exhale slowly. With each breath, feel your body becoming more and more relaxed. Now, with your eyes closed, Let your imagination come to life as we journey back to Lily's Cozy Bakery. When you feel the warmth and comfort of this familiar place, you can let your mind drift off into a night of sweet dreams and peaceful rest. Our story begins on a blustery, wet morning. Lily slowly awakens in her cozy bed the sound of heavy raindrops tapping against the window panes. Every so often, a gust of wind sends the rain splattering harder against the glass. Lily lies under the covers with her eyes closed, listening to the rhythmic sound of the storm, thinking to herself, it's going to be a blustery day. These last few moments in bed, before she has to rise, are some of Lily's favorites. Her thoughts drift dreamily, and her mind clings to the remnants of sleep. Cassian overtakes her. She stretches her arms wide, feeling the comforting warmth of the sheets against her skin. She circles her ankles a few times, readying herself to step out of bed. With a deep breath in and a slow exhale, Lily feels her body relax even further into the soft mattress. Just a minute more, she thinks to herself with a small smile. The rain continues to tap against the window, as though curtains of water are being drawn open and closed. A strong gust of wind rattles the tree branches outside, sending a flurry of raindrops toward the house. Days like this always excite Lily. The wild and unpredictable weather seems to encourage her to be a bit more spontaneous. To with that thought, she pushes herself up, sitting on the edge of the bed, and finally stands, glancing out the window. She notices that it's still dark outside. Lily always wakes up before most of the town, She has to, to ensure the bakery is open and ready by the time everyone else is starting their day. After slipping into her comfy slippers, Lily pads softly into the kitchen. The first thing she does is put on the kettle for a nice, strong cup of tea. As the water begins to boil, she fills a small metal tea ball with loose leaf black tea carefully hooking it over the edge of her favorite cup. When the water is ready, she pours it over the tea, watching as bubbles rise up from the tea ball, floating momentarily before sinking back down. The water swirls as it takes on the rich, golden hue of the tea. Lily lifts the cup to her nose, inhaling the comforting scent of hot tea on a chilly morning. Feeling a bit adventurous, she decides to skip her usual splash of milk, opting to drink it black today. 
carrying her steaming cup to the window, Lily sits down on her usual wooden seat, gazing out at the sleepy neighborhood. Some mornings, the first rays of light would be peeking through the clouds by now, but today the sky remains heavy and dark, with a blanket of gray clouds hanging low over the town. The rain is steady, shifting only with the wind. As she sips her tea, Lily feels the warmth spreading through her. Chasing away the morning chill, she wiggles her toes inside her fuzzy slippers, savoring the tingling sensation that spreads across her skin. This is the perfect way to start the day, she thinks to herself. Once her tea is finished, she rinses out the cup and sets it on the drying rack. It's time to get ready for the day ahead. Lily picks out a gray shirt from her wardrobe, a fitting choice for the weather outside. After dressing, she heads to the front door, slipping on her thick wool coat and wrapping a chunky scarf around her neck. A pair of warm gloves and her rusty yellow umbrella complete her outfit. As Lily steps outside, the wind pushes against her umbrella, but with a little effort, she gets it open. The bright yellow canopy stands out against the dark morning, adding a cheerful splash of color. Bracing herself against the wind, she starts her walk to the bakery. The sound of raindrops hitting the umbrella fabric is magnified, creating a soothing rhythm that accompanies her footsteps. The neighborhood is quiet, with most people still asleep in their warm beds. The only movement comes from a small white cat curled up in a neighbor's window, fast asleep with its nose tucked under its tail. Usually, the cat would be awake, watching Lily as she passes by. But today, is clearly a lazy day for it. As Lily walks, she thinks about her regular customers and how much she enjoys seeing them every day. They are the reason she gets up early, rain or shine, to open the doors to her bakery. When she finally reaches the brightly painted door of the bakery, even in the dim light, it's a welcoming sight. Inside, the bakery is still and quiet. Lily quickly sets down her umbrella, now slightly bent from the wind, and flicks on the lights. The familiar smells of espresso, flour, and pickens linger in the air from the day before. Today, however, Lily feels like trying something different. Perhaps it's the weather or the early morning tea. But she decides it's time to bake something new. She heads to the pantry and pulls out her grandmother's old cookbook, a cherished family heirloom. Flipping to a marked page, she finds a recipe for baked apples, a dish her grandmother always made on chilly days like this. The recipe is simple, just butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, oats, pecans, and a few large apples. As Lily gathers the ingredients, she feels a sense of nostalgia. She can almost hear her grandmother's voice as she reads the handwritten notes in the margins of the recipe, offering little tips and tricks. With everything ready, Lily begins to prepare the apples carefully coring each one to create a small pocket for the filling. Once the apples are ready, she mixes the filling, mashing together softened butter, sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg before stirring in the oats and pecans. She stuffs each apple to the brim with the mixture, then places them in ceramic pie dishes with a bit of water in the bottom to keep them from drying out. Finally, 
She slides the dishes into the oven and sets a timer. As she cleans up her workspace, the door to the bakery creaks open. It's Rose, one of her favorite customers, who smiles warmly as she enters. Lily quickly prepares Rose's usual coffee and tells her about the baked apple she's trying out. Rose is eager to be the first to taste them. The two chat about the weather, blustery day outside, and Lily's broken umbrella. Despite the stormy morning, Lily is in high spirits, thanks to her friend's visit. As more customers trickle in, the bakery comes to life with the sound of chatter, the clinking of cups, and the warm smell of baked goods. When the timer goes off, Lily carefully removes the pie dishes from the oven, revealing the soft, gooey baked apples. She serves them with a dollop of freshly whipped cream and a drizzle of caramel sauce, watching with satisfaction as her customers enjoy the special treat. And as the day continues, Lily feels grateful for her little bakery, her cherished customers, and the simple joys that come with a blustery, wet morning. As you listen to the gentle sounds of this cozy bakery, let your mind drift off into a restful sleep, filled with sweet dreams and peaceful moments. Thank you for joining me tonight at Cozy Noah Vibes. Sleep well and I'll see you in your dreams.